Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm going to make a bar that I'm calling Botanical Bliss. And the reason that I'm calling it that is because I have all these gorgeous botanicals to put on top. I have rosebuds, organic rosebuds. I have these gorgeous jasmine buds. Those are going to go on there. Um, I'm going to put some of this. It's a spring mix blend. It's got a whole bunch of uh, calendula, calendula, corn flowers, um, rose petals. That's all in there. So I'm just going to sprinkle botanicals on top, and that's sort of what inspired me today. I'm also going to split my oils and lye into four separate containers because I'm going to do four layers, and I have these. Um, I'm going to do purples, gradiating from darkest to lightest. They're all from Brambleberry, my different micas. This is a plum. I've got lavender. Uh, lavender oxide and then a pink oxide. So that's how we're going to layer it up on top. Um, and then for my fragrance, I'm going to use this one called Avalon from Nurture Soap. And it's so pretty. And um, I'll read the description of what, uh, what they say the scent is like. Uh, it says, top notes of citrus with middle notes of apple sugar violet intermingled with bottom notes of peach and musk. So um, that's how they describe it. It just smells wonderful to me and it just kind of reminded me of spring and blossoms and botanicals and everybody's getting in the gardening mood. So that's what inspired this soap. I'm gonna pull all my oils together, get them melted. For my lye solution, I'm using an aloe vera juice um, just to add a really soothing, and you know, aloe is a botanical too, I guess. <laughs> um, the oils, luxury oils I'm going to be using are shea butter and sweet almond oil will be kind of making this bar really nurturing for your skin. So I'm going to get all that pulled together and cooled off. I'm going to get my apron on and my safety gear out and we'll come back and make some botanical bliss soap. So what I'm going to do right now is I've got all of my oils melted and measured in the big pot and I'm going to add my additives and my fragrance in here before I split it off into these containers and I got these cute little containers at Lowe's in the paint department but and they're really nice they have measuring so um, that's what I'm going to do right now is here is uh, one of my additives which has my organic colloidal oats my kale and clay and I did decided to put some calendula flower powder since this is a botanical flower you know kind of themed soap so that's what's going in here into my oils and I don't have my gloves on because I'm not working with my lye yet. Uh, let me get this out of here. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my fragrance in here too so that when I split it all up, everything is going to have nice equal portions of fragrance and additives and all the good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and add my uh, fragrance oil here, this Avalon. It smells so pretty. I recommend it. I hope the scent holds after uh, the cure because it smells great. That's what I'm using. So I'm going to buzz this all together and then I'm going to split up my batch and I'll bring you back for all that when we do. All right, I just wanted to show you what I've got here, which is my aloe vera lye solution and my oils with all the additives in them split up into four equal portions here. I've got my mold ready and there's my calculator that I did the math. Uh, there is my little mica line thingy bob and here are my colors and I have a little titanium dioxide in case I need to lighten any of those up. I've dispersed them in oil um, to go in each batch and my botanicals and my recipe and uh, there it all is from my point of view and uh, We'll get to mix in the first layer.
if I can, if it'll hold. Yeah, it's gonna hold some little texture lines. I hope the shadows in here isn't too bad for the camera, but just wanna make little indents, nothing too perfect. And then I'm gonna put my mica line down on it. There we go. I think that'll show up nice in the layers.
All right, I'm back the next morning with our botanical bliss. And it did go through gel phase. It smells wonderful. So let's get it out of the mold and see how those uh, mica lines and the layers came out. I'm really excited to cut into this.